<laughs> Yo, what's up? Today I'm making a video on the GoPro Max. GoPro have just announced a new update to the GoPro Max, which is allowing you to capture 360 content at 50 frames a second. <laughs> is slow-mo 360 content so today in this video we're testing out some photos we're testing out some slow-mo 360 content and i want to test out the microphones right now i'm shooting in 1080 at 50 frames a second i've got it in flat the color profile is flat we have graded it and um yeah it's kind of nice being able to see yourself in this little screen here you know while you're vlogging so uh, also i've set the microphone preference to the back mics so it's essentially this 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 microphone just here let's just experiment let's get stuck into it <laughs> Switching this up to 360 now to see what the uh, 50 frames a second is. Um, shooting 3K as opposed to shooting uh, 5.2K. So maybe the render of the 3K is going to be at 720, but we'll upscale it to the screen size that you're seeing now, which is 1080. In regards to wind, I'm recording in the stereo and 360 sound because. I guess it's, you know, if you have the option to shoot in 360 sound and use all the six microphones, why not? Yeah, let's test it out. Whoa. I've got to move that thing. wind reduction now on auto so for those of you that are wanting to know the difference how much that wind reduction makes a difference frames. Woo! <laughs> loose ass trucks baby we pump it <laughs> i could always hop myself off this sucker right around this little bend he goes under the first tree he hooks it around he's coming around through the bottom really Oh, let's kick again. Can you believe I'm still shooting on the, the Max? It's, it's kind of dynamic. Right now I'm shooting in linear, just in hero mode. So I'm still able to vlog, still able to create, you know, good GoPro content. Um, but yeah, what do you reckon? What are your thoughts on the, you know, being able to shoot slow-mo um, and, and play around with some of the, the timings and the motion of, um, of 360 content? Are you a fan? Do you think it makes no difference? Do you still prefer to use just a hero camera? All right, it's hot. It's time to get. created much content with is the 360 time warp feature which is like a hyperlapse but 360 hyperlapse um i'm gonna do the home pro style i'm gonna make lunch 360 time warp. <laughs> initial kind of review and comparison between the Hero 8 that this battery lasts for about 90 minutes. Um, the start of this video, the start of the day, today I, you know, I've been filming in 360, I haven't taken any photos, I've been filming in Hero Mode in 360 throughout this vlog, and we're currently at 55% battery. So that might give you a little bit of insight as to how long you have to shoot if you are shooting in 
360. Anyway, let's test out the audio. So I've set the audio up right now to stereo. It's using a stereo mic recording. Um, I thought I would jump on the guitar, play some sounds, and um, yeah, and then we can just flick it between. Now let's do it. So I tried to export 360 audio and unfortunately it looks like it's temporarily unavailable. I'm not sure what's going on here, but for my GoPro VR player, I'm unable to export the DOT 360 audio. So you're only able to hear the stereo recording. Hopefully this is something that's updated in the next firmware update, or if you work at GoPro, let me know how to get this sorted. All right, I've just switched up to shooting on the Hero 8. Um, I am using the Media Mod, and I will give you guys more comprehensive review on what this setup is like. Um, I'll show you in the mirror. But what I wanted to do um, with the GoPro Max, so that's what I'm shooting on at the minute. Yo! What I wanted to do with the GoPro Max is I wanted to sh I wanted to put it on this selfie stick, which is the 270 Pro. Um, but basically, I wanted to take some photos. So I'm just showing you the setup. I'm using the 270 Pro. Now, one thing to take note here, which I think is kind of important, is I'm using these little metal um, like little metal pins because when you're capturing 360 images it's really important that you don't have anything protruding the width of the camera because that then is going to get rendered into the photo and you don't want that you want things you want to be able to render everything out so I won't use the longer generic kind of GoPro pins um, to mount it I'm gonna try and keep it as flush to the edges as possible so and I'm using an extra long selfie stick because yeah, and a tripod, I wanna, I wanna get some interesting photos. So let's go do that. Alright, so for this final photo idea, I'm going to set this up um, here. Also, 22% battery. It's pretty pretty good. We've been shooting, you know, I'd say we've been shooting for not longer than 90 minutes, but in and out of like two hours of the camera being on the whole time. Um, yeah, I'm going to set the camera up high. I'm going to send it off here and hopefully catch myself in the air see what that looks like. I mean 360 photos you really need to be up and around the lens to make it look cool so I don't know maybe it will just warp some kind of interesting perspective. Let's give it a go. Okay. <laughs> back to hero mode guys i hope you have enjoyed this video what do you think about shooting 360 photos has today's video or today's vlog given you some you know further insights into the creative capabilities that the gopro max offers for those of you that are interested in using it as a vlogging camera which is a real you know I i've been impressed um i'm super stoked that they've now created this firmware update and you can now shoot 50 frames a second in 3k 360 content like slow mode 360 is super cool one other thing i would love to see is some kind of dive case because i'd love to take 360 slow mode content underwater and um, even just mount it somewhere and see fish sort of swimming around it 
Um, we can all dream. Hopefully there's, I don't know, maybe some accessories being worked on at the moment. Hope you guys are doing all right in quarantine or isolation or wherever you are. And I hope this video, if anything, has just given you a little bit of like motivation to look forward to getting out of the house and creating some super fun GoPro content or even creating some fun Hopro content. Um, yeah, uh, the LUT that I've used, the color that you're seeing on this video right now, I'm gonna give that to you guys for free to add to your videos. All you have to do is click on the link um, in the description and that will take you to uh, a download page. If you, have, if you guys have enjoyed today's video, you wanna check out more GoPro content, be sure to ch uh, click on the cards up here or top link in the description and I'll see you guys in the next upload. JR, peace.